through history, pretty much the guitar has been, you know, considered sort of a folk instrument when they were creating these orchestral pieces. Mm -hmm. The guitar gets the designation as the perfect instrument because you can take it with you and play it anywhere. Where the carrying your mix in and out of, and it comes out pretty good. Mm -hmm. You can so, take yeah. your guitar to the beach and you just can't take your piano with you. Even your electric keyboard you can't take anywhere. It's pretty much, if you're playing classical guitar, you're going to be playing a nylon string guitar. But it's it really picking up the sound through uh, contact pickups in the bridge and picking up the vibration of the bridge, not the sound of the strings like the electric guitars do. One of the things you want to look for is how tight the grain of this is and how closely spaced these grain lines are. So if you have wide ones, that's not good. It's not good for the you know, face of a guitar. And generally, when a guitar is new, it's a little, it's a little closed, and it starts to sound better and better at, over the years as it as it ages and dries out a little bit. This is the recording studio. I don't really tinker around with my guitars. I tinker around with the technology and the computers and stuff, but when it comes to you know, working on the guitars, I'll leave that to somebody else. Basically.